Hey guys, what is up? It's a friend named FM99 here. We are making a great video today. In this video, we are basically going to learn about that how you will be able to install the latest version. Not you can say the latest version, but is maybe about the latest version. It was in the late 2020s, and you can say many of the users were having a problem where they couldn't weren't able to activate the Python version 2020 for free as you all know that you have to buy the Python version but in this scenario we are having a crack version of it so it won't be a problem but many of the other person or people most of you were having a problem with that that you guys weren't able to crack it or you guys weren't able to activate it even though you were having a right good key to it okay so I have already downloaded the file and I have already extracted here on my desktop and everything to this thing which the topic we are doing on this video the link will be given down in the description below so you guys will be able to download it just follow the every single step I'm going to perform here on the screen and you won't be having any problem with that okay let's get started with it so here I'm having a file of the pie charm over here I'm just going to double click on it. This are the correct files version, but mostly the best current method we are going to use is this best method currently even typed over here. We are going to use this method. For now, we are just going to install the PyCharm Professional 2020 version 3.1. Normal set of startup. Going to do next. Click the destination folder next click if you don't no want any of this thing add launcher dir to the path or create associate.py open add folder as project or 64 bit launcher as a shortcut on your desktop so i don't want any of that i'm just going to click on next it will create this folder in your c program and your c drive where you will be able to access the most of the file of the python you just have to wait for a while while the program is being installed it won't take much time Okay guys, so our program has completely been installed in a computer as you can see away on my desktop. So I'm just normally going to run the PyCharm version and going to finish on it. It will take few time few minutes to be appear on your screen and it has already okay this option might not occur on your screen because I've already installed the PyCharm and then uninstalled it to consider to check whether the activation file is right or wrong so it was all great and I've already done it in the previous time so I'm doing the video on it so don't be scared that if this option doesn't appear means you have done any wrong step no everything you are doing is right so if this option may occur just click on ok and as that's ok your parts on when it start Okay, so as a pie charm opens, it will give you this option activate pie charm or evaluate it for free. So, for the studying, we are going to evaluate it for free totally for free. Okay, we're going to evaluate it for free and we're going to evaluate it. Okay, so this is the new latest interface of the Python 2023.1 version. Okay, so we are going to click on the new project over here. So it will create a new project. I will have to have a pure Python on any other thing you want to create on it. And you are going to go and click on create. Okay, it may at the starting will install the Python version as the Python IDE. I'm saying the IDE, they would say that. It will install the Python version in it, 3. Point, I think the latest version 3.8. I will show you on my control panel. You will be able to see as I'm installing and installing other type of stuff. I will show you the Python version which it will install in your computer by using Python 
3.8.6 64-bit and Python launcher. This both thing is will automatically install in your computer when you're going to install the Python latest version. It is installed in my computer from the starting because I have told you at the starting of my video that I have already installed that program to check whether this program was being correct, being correct, correct, or being not able to correct, correct. Okay, so it has been correctly so I'm making a video on this okay so I'm going to close it okay. okay it is just indexing checking whether it is all right or wrong the Python index I'm just going to click on it it will take a few time but we don't have a time to waste on it it's okay okay so it says okay when I'm going to run it it says hi PyCharm means your Python IDE has successfully been installed and but you say that the Python configuration configurator the virtual environment which is great okay so the main scenario of this video is that how we are going to activate it because as you can see over here and then you go for the register as you say there's free evaluation evaluation and 30 days left okay so we are going to go on the file and go on the settings over here please check this out very correctly okay we're going to go on the plugins we're going to go on this icon over here and go on the manage plugin repositories okay we're going to click on it and it's going to ask you no plugin repository is configured okay so we're going to click on this plus sign and i'm going to give you the link down in the description which you have to click and paste on it so we're going to go on the python file over here or basically just go over here and it also gives you the whole instruction that where and what you have to do so we just have to go and control C on it and you have to go and control V on it okay and after doing that suddenly open that file and check this item control C and control V here install it accept it okay when it's done click on ok ok it will restart the IDE after restarting the IDE of this Python close it yes refresh it and here recently added item PyCharm and click on it ok everything seems ok Okay, it's analyzing, it's okay. Go on this app back in again, register, it says this thing, don't need to worry, add new license, evaluate for free. No, sorry, activation code and this activation code will be given down in the description below or in the correct file, so don't need to worry. Okay. Okay guys, so when you go on this activate PyCharm version, so you have to go on the activation code and suddenly just go on this uh, file which will be given down here or this crack folder will be given in the folder of the PyCharm so don't need to worry, just click on it and copy this thing from the start to the end make sure you have done it right or if not, I will give you the another notepad file txt file on which only the key will exist you just have to control a and c on it and just have to paste it over here okay as you can see and go and activate it and now as you can see the subscription the subscription is activated until december 31 2099 so you have got a lot of time to work on it if you go under registration your registration has been done and now you can use a PyCharm without being having a problem in the mind that it will be only be valid till 30 days not being able to work on it after 30 days so I have done the work and now it has been registered thank you guys for watching my video if you have enjoyed this video please like this video share it comment on it that whether it works for you or not and if you have subscribed my channel thank you very much very much for supporting me and if you haven't subscribed my channel so it's okay you have a lot of time do it when you enjoy
more of my videos thank you very much have a great day